West Asia shined big in the G20. The Saudi Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman was in New Delhi. MBS, alongside the UAE's top diplomat, launched a project. It is a corridor from India to the Middle East to Europe. Now, this is aiming to counter China's Belt and Road Initiative. What does this mean? What is the difference between the two projects? We tell you. Last week was big for West Asia. Leaders of Saudi Arabia and Turkey were in New Delhi to take part in the G20 summit. While the meeting in itself made headlines, there was a mega announcement on the sidelines with special focus on West Asia. Narendra Modi, Joe Biden, Mohammed bin Salman and Ursula von der Leyen were seated on the same table when they announced the launch of the India-Middle East-Europe corridor. The project aims to improve connectivity across the three regions. The IMEC will connect West Asia to India and Europe via rail and port links. US President Joe Biden has called it a big deal. The Americans are counting on it to come to China's Belt and Road Initiative. But the other members of this developing corridor believe otherwise. This is an initiative of very important countries who all see good in it for themselves. They're not doing it because they're against somebody and something. They're doing it because they are for something. The White House has said that the project will usher in a new era of creativity. The US plans to show that it can count on its West Asian allies in efforts to contain China's rise. But is that the case? Because Gulf nations are gradually moving away from the American hegemony. China is among the biggest emerging partners. China's Belt and Road Initiative, that experts say might be a threat from IMEC, is too expansive to be tackled. China launched the massive infrastructure project in 2013 and has poured around $1 trillion into its projects so far. While the US might have its military presence, Beijing remains the highest West Asian investor. China has invested in Iraq, Iran, Saudi Arabia, UAE and even the semi-autonomous Kurdish regions. And despite the regular hiccups along the BRI and its not-so-regular pushing the country's deeper into debt outcome, the project's footprint is only growing. In 2022, West Asian countries expanded their cooperation with China and received about 23% of Chinese BRI engagement. It was a 6.5% jump from the previous year. For Gulf powers, the new project is not about choosing sides, but pushing their agenda, that is, better connectivity to the world. Two West Asian nations part of the new corridor, UAE and Saudi Arabia, are members of the BRI. But Gulf powers believe it is time they establish their presence, have their agendas and push the unilateral order away. Bureau Report, Beyond World is One.